Blood pressure is the result of the pumping action of the heart and the total amount of resistance provided by all the blood vessels around the body. And what happens in about 11 to 12% of the New Zealand population is that blood pressure rises with time, rises over, over many years generally. And it's caused by lifestyle, diet, overweight, alcohol, etc., as well as genetic factors. Now what's also clear in the last 10 to 15 years is that a branch of the central nervous system called the sympathetic nervous system, which goes to all the blood vessels around the body, also begins to go up in the early phase of the cardiovascular disease. So if we can understand what are the factors by which we regulate sympathetic nerve activity, whether what specific hormones are involved, dietary interventions and, and the role of different environmental circumstances, I think we can aim to provide earlier treatment strategies which target the sympathetic nervous system and prevent some of the major changes in cardiovascular diseases like hypertension, heart failure and renal failure. Here at the University of Auckland, we're recording sympathetic activity and blood pressure in animal models of cardiovascular disease states in situations that we try and make as reflective of the human condition. And we can manipulate the conditions, we can change the diet, we can change various hormones, environmental situations, and look at what the mediators are for long-term control of sympathetic activity. And in particular, we record sympathetic activity to the kidney as an index of overall sympathetic and we've developed the technology that enables us to record sympathetic activity for a great length of time. Now that's actually a world first technology and we hope that by exporting that technology we're going to change the impact of cardiovascular disease worldwide.